Hi, welcome to this training. Funke Oyende here, and today we are making a diaper bag or baby bag. And this is normally used by nursing mothers to carry their baby things, maybe when they are going out. But before we start, I want to show you the materials we will be using. Just follow me. Now, here are the materials we are using. So we are using this blue material for the outer and then we are using foam half inch foam and fabric and a lining for the inside now these are the front pieces and the front and back pieces that we are using for the baby bag so this is the front piece here and this is the back piece they are the same size and I know you'll be asking what size am I using? So the width of the front and back is 17 inches wide and 13 inches long. The same size for the front and back. You can see the back is plain. Actually, the material itself is plain. But because it's a um, baby bag, so, you know, baby bags are normally colorful. That was why I just cut this um shape this hard shape out of leather and then um, just attached it sewed it to the front just to design it and make it more colorful and that's very simple to do just grab your leather any size you want so you normally you will start with um let's say a rectangle so let's say this is my rectangle and i want hard shape i just fold it in two like this and i will just cut it out you know you can you can mark it with pen or a marker if you like before you cut it out but i don't really need that so you just cut you know this is the center so that would be a bit deep so look at it look at what i just cut and by the time you open it out you have your heart shape so that was what i did and i now attached them to the front piece just to design it okay so that's for the front and back pieces then you know we're supposed to have a bottom piece a top piece and two side pieces but the design of the bag is that once we have the front and the back the middle piece will encompass the bottom, the top, and the sides. So I have the middle piece here, but before I get to the middle piece, this front piece, this front piece here, you know, will be carrying two pockets in the front. So I will have pockets in the front here, and these are the pockets. And the pockets also have um, three pieces of um, materials the material for the bag here then instead of foam i use a leather material so that it will have some weight so and then the inside has the lining so this is the sample this is a piece of the leather material i used inside so you can use anything you like and the size of my pocket there are two the two pockets will be in front of the bag in front of the uh, front piece and the pockets are measuring 10 inches wide and 8 inches long so these are also just designs that i made in front of the, the just to design the pocket also i used half inch ribbon blue and green see they're just half inches wide and i just sewed them you know across like that just to design the pocket so those two pockets will be in front here. Then I have some other two pockets that will be at the sides of the bag. So those are just the measurement of the side pocket is 8 inches by 8 inches. So they are just squares. And this is still the same hard shape leather I used to design the front piece. So I just decided to use it to design the the side pocket also and i used my blue ribbon to make a small bow and sewed it and you can see i've sewn this down so that is that and the, this ones here they are the flaps flap to cover these same um, pockets that will be in the front they are flap 
that will be on top of the pocket to cover them and you know they are just rectangles also they are rectangles of a, of a seven inches by four inches after cutting the rectangle seven inches by four inches i folded it like this and then i just shaped it a little bit to give it this curved shape but if you don't want your flap to be curved you can leave it four corner like that so that is about the front piece the back piece and the pockets so this is the middle piece here that encompasses the top of the bag the bottom and the two sides everything is here and for you to get your middle piece you need to measure around your front piece or your back piece since they are the same the perimeter that is the measurement of what you have around the four corners of your middle and back piece is that measurement that you will use to cut the middle piece so when i measured around what i have there is a 60 inches all around the four corners so i now have to cut 60 inches long for my for my middle piece 60 inches i decide how you decide how wide you want you know the your middle piece to be so i used i decided i want eight inches so you can see my middle piece is eight inches wide so it will now be 60 by eight inches for the middle piece so now the middle piece now you will now divide it into two so because you have to attach zip to the top part of the middle piece the bottom part will not need a, will not need a zip so i used I cut it into two, one 35, this is 35, the side that will not have zip is 35, the side that will have zip is 25, so you know by the time you add 35 and 25 you will come to 60, so now this is a 25 inches side, but and I have to slice it in two, in the middle, so as to accommodate my zip, so I'll be sewing my zip in between these two pieces. And then I'll be using this piping. I'll be sewing the piping around the front and back pieces. I think that is about all. Okay, I have the this is a belt that we're using the um, webbing or belt that we're using for the handle of the back. I'll be sewing it to the front and back pieces, and then using it for the long handle. And then I have this one here, this ribbon. I'll be using this ribbon to tape, you know. I'll be doing some taping, like um, a number of, with this pocket, I'm going to do a lot of taping. Like this curved edge of the, of the flap, I'm going to tape it round. I'm going to tape all the sides. And then this, the pockets too, this top part of the pocket I'm going to tape. So all those taping work, including this one to all this stuff I'm going to tape. So I'm, I'm going to be using this one inch ribbon for my taping. So we're now going to get to the sewing machine. Oh, before I forget, I have some hardware here. I'll be using this for the handle, attaching this to the bag to hold the long handle of the bag. And then this one, my magnetic snap here, I'll be using uh, to, to, for the flap, you know. This front pocket here, I'll be using the magnet to close the, 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 the pocket. So that we magnet here and here to close this front pocket. So that's about it now. Let's get to the sewing machine and start sewing. So as I begin the sewing, the very first thing I'm going to do to all the pieces, all the pieces, is that I'm going to sew round. I will be sewing all of them round. You see that most of the pieces, all of them, there are three layers together. So I'll have to sew everything around the four sides of all the layers to piece them together. So let me do that. And when you're sewing round, you make sure you sew very close to the edge of the material. 
Now, after sewing around all the pieces, the next thing is to start working on them part by part. So the first part I want to work on now is the front piece. So for the front piece, I will be attaching these two pockets to the front here. So what I'll do, I'll get this rectangle now. I'll fold the bottom in like this. The bottom part, I'll fold it in and sew it just to make it just to make it to form um, pockets so I'll do it to the other side also so I just sew it in okay so now I have my pocket formed so I'll turn it, I can, you can trim this off. So the distance from, from the tip to where, you know, it depends on how deep you want the pocket to be. If you want your pocket to be very deep, then you sew it in more. So you trim off that portion with a sharp scissors. And then you turn it right side out. So I have my pocket form. So what I'll be doing right now is to attach it to, okay, I think before I do that, I'll need to tape this top portion. I'll need to tape that, but before I do the taping, I'll do the second pocket like that too. So after forming the two pockets, now I want to tape the top edges of the two pockets with my orange color ribbon. So I'll just quickly do that now. So after taping the two pockets, the next thing, uh, I'm going to put them aside because I ought to sew the belt or uh, webbing the handle to the bag first before the pocket so i'm going to now sew the pockets i um, mean the belt or handle to the front piece of the bag so that's the next thing to do so so, but before I sew it, I have to pin it so that it will not be shifting as I sew. So once I, I pin it, then I will now sew the handle to the bag. Right, so now that I've sewn the handle to the bag, it's time to fix the pocket on top. So the pocket will be covering the handle. So now for you to get your pocket fixed properly, you may need to do some measurements. So when I, if you measure the how wide, now that your pocket is formed, you can measure how wide it is. I have about six inches now. If you look at the bottom, from the bottom where you have the shape formed, you have about six inches and the height is now reduced to six inches and the width also about six inches. So you have about six inches by six inches square so you can mark those you can mark your six inches on your front piece so you know what exact position you know it will cover so that your pocket will be well placed so after you've done that you fold in a little bit at the edge and then you sew it down so that it will be neat to sew it down to the front piece so after sewing the first one to the front of the background about so i will go ahead and attach the second pocket to the 
other side and complete the front piece now the two pockets have been sewn in place the next thing is to now sew the flap the flap that will cover the pocket in place so this these are the two flaps but before we can do that there are two things number one I have to insert the uh, magnetic snap in your I have to fix put um fix the magnetic snap the part that will be up here i have to fit, fit it in and then after that i will tape it around so let me fit in the magnetic snap now so i'm um, let me fold this in two to get the center I can use my chalk to mark that center point then this is the flat part of the magnetic snap that will be up here so that flat part is what I'm going to attach here so you can use a small knife or screwdriver whatever to open two little holes that your magnetic snap uh, prongs will enter in so you know two little holes beside the mark you made so you open it and fix in the magnetic snap. So after making the little, two little holes, you put in your magnetic snap. So you put in your magnetic snap. Then after that, it's also, before you press it down, it's also good that you can put a small cardboard. Let the prong enter inside the cardboard so as to give it uh, some strength. So you press it in into the cardboard and then you now fold your prong, you fold it down. You fold it down like that. Press it down very well. Okay, so once that is done, then you can now seal and then close that place. So once you do that for the two flaps, the next thing is to now tape the flap around just from this point to this point. Okay, so after sewing in the ribbon, I'm not too satisfied with the outcome. It's not looking as neat as I would want it to look. So what I've decided to do is I have this cord. So I want to sew it on top of the ribbon so that I'll have a neater and more beautiful finishing. So that's what I'm going to do now. I'm going to sew this cord on top of the ribbon around and we're going to have a better finishing so let me do that right away so this is it this is better this is neater so i'm going to go ahead now and sew the flaps in place on top of the pocket so i will set it well then i will sew it across you know from one end to the other like that and later fold it over all right so now i have sewn down the two flaps so all we have to do now is to cover is to fix the other side of the magnet here so that we can cover the pockets but there's one other thing I want to do. You see this rough edges here that I show me in order to cover it and make our work neater. So I'm going to tape, I'm going to fold this flap down and now top stitch it so that it will cover that rough edge inside. Okay, so 
having done that the next stage now i'm going to now um the the other part of the magnetic snap that is going to be on this uh side of the pocket i'm going to fix them there so this one that's already on top here will guide you so you just mark wherever this one touches here and then you fit uh, you fix the other part there so that you close so let me do that now okay so now we are done with the pockets and here's our, our front okay now the next thing that is to be done now for me to finish the front piece is just to pipe pipe i'm going to sew my piping around the front piece and i will be done with the front piece so let me start from the bottom here and sew the piping in place so let me apply my machine oil to aid movement and i'll sew it in place so when you get to the point, when you get to the end here, you know, where you want to join the two ends together, you get a small, um, because the piping is black, so you get a matching leather, small piece like this. So you just raise, you just raise the, hope you can see it. So you just raise the piping up, put the leather underneath, and then, you fold it on top so, so you now sew so if you look continuous and you know it will be hard to even know that there is a joining there so when you use matching material to close it up everything will rhyme okay okay so after sewing the piping we are done with the front piece so now i'm going to work on the back piece and all i have to do is just sew the handle to it which i already did at the same time when i sewed it to the front piece so then the next thing is just sew the piping around the back piece so the back piece too is done now so i'll set it aside and I'll start to work on the middle piece. So this side that is going to contain the carry the zipper. I will first have to tape this inner to these two inner edges before I insert my zipper. So let me do the taping now with my orange color ribbon so after so after taping the two inner <coughs> edges i decided to change from the initial red zip i wanted to use to orange color zip so i'll be using orange color zip and sewing it in between the two pieces now okay so after sewing in the zipper I still want to use this same cord I used for the flag the other time and sew it on top of the ribbon here and here so as to make it more beautiful. So I'm going to set this aside now and next I'm going to tape the top of this side pocket with my orange ribbon. Does this stop portion? Okay, so after taping the two pockets, I am supposed to sew it to the middle piece, you know, at these two ends before 
these two ends you know one at this end and one at the other end of the portion of the middle piece that does not contain zip you understand so but before i do that we need to remeasure you know we started with a middle piece that is 60 um, inches long because of the perimeter we have around our front and back pieces but now the perimeter we have around the front and back pieces has reduced from 60 to 56 you know after piping the front and back pieces it has reduced the measurement so now before i join the two parts of the middle pieces together i have to make sure that i take the new perimeter the new length around the the front and back pieces into consideration because that's also what will determine the length of this so we will be needing around just um about 50 7 or 58 depending on the sewing allowance i'll be using so but i'm going to still attach the side pocket to the middle piece so now i'll just leave the portion i will just leave a little space for joining to the zip side so with an allowance of about two inches on top i will be sewing the pocket to the uh, middle piece but i'm going to sew it this way i'm going to you know turn it like this sew it inside and then turn it back up so let me do that now so i turn it back up and then i sew it down on both sides Okay, so I'm going to I've sewn the pocket on the two sides, so I'm going to keep it aside and then quickly grab the other side with zipper. You remember our hardware for fixing in the long handle, so I'll quickly sew that to, to the end of the zip on both sides before joining it to the other side without zipper so next now i'm now going to join this to the other side of to the side without zipper and i'll sew them together with one inch sewing allowance so after that i will open it out and then I'm, I'm going to still sew it from the outside and top stitch. So I'm going to now still join on the other side. I'm going to join the second side just like I did so as to form a ring. So now, after joining both sides, um, I've ended up with a circle. So it's time to now join the front side to this side and the back piece to the other side. So I will just try and get the middle portion. I'll get the middle point from here, notch it, so that I will now align that with the middle part of the top of the front piece bring them together so that everything aligns and I'll start stitching around so once you bring the two middle parts because of the piping you may not be able to pin but you can use your, your clip to hold it your pegs to hold it in place so I've just pinned the front and the back you know everything I've pinned everything up so I'll now be sewing it around so after sewing both sides, front and back, so the next thing is just to use a black ribbon and tape all the raw edges all around. And after that, I'll be turning it right side out. So after turning it right side out, this is our finished baby bag. Beautiful, isn't it? So thank you for watching. And... 
all you need to do is just to attach your long handle if you want it there and you are done thank you very much from kelly in the signing of bye bye